Bottoms Up is storming onto the service industry. And not only is it changing how we pour beer, it's also changing how we serve it. And this video isn't here to tell you about how filling through the bottom is faster, more efficient, and offers marketing at the bottom of the cup, but to help you strategize in applying the Bottoms Up system to maximize its potential. More specifically, serving those large crowds at festivals, sports venues, and events. With traditional draft systems, the options for serving large crowds is very limited. Venues pair each cashier with their own person pouring beer, which is costly for equipment and manpower. With this traditional draft pouring, beer is still a bottleneck of transaction time and not able to keep up with the speed of the transaction. In the worst case scenario, each cashier is responsible for pouring their own beer, which is obviously gonna slow service at an unacceptable rate. For example, if a large outdoor event has 10 people for beer service, they're able to set five points of sale, each with one person pouring beer and one taking cash. Their transaction times are slow and pouring beer can be delayed by lack of equipment. Now for the good news, we fixed it. With the speed of bottoms up, a single person with a four nozzle unit has the ability to pour over 60 beers in one minute. In contrast, a traditional draft system, one person is only able to pour around eight. With this increased capacity, education is vital because if that BU4 is paired with only one cashier, the full potential isn't met. The venue would still see increased profit thanks to the reduced waste, but the high pouring capacity is wasted because the service is limited to the time required for each transaction. Enter the Keg Slaughtering House, a configuration of beer service that we have created and named due to the rate in which it empties kegs. In the Keg Slaughtering House, a single BU4 can be paired with up to 10 cashiers. By placing the bottoms up unit behind the points of sale, each cashier has the ability to complete the financial transaction, then simply turn around, grab cold fresh beers, and move on to the next customer. This enables just one person to do all the pouring, which leaves more servers doing the one thing you really want them doing, taking money. We've got several ways this could be set up. By placing the cashier tables in a V in front of the bottoms up dispenser, you can reduce the distance from each cashier to the beer, as well as reduce traffic jams of cashiers taking beer. Let's say you have the same 10 servers as the example we used with the traditional draft service. You would have nine points of sale instead of five, with just one person supplying all the beer. Not only is every transaction faster, but you have four additional points of sale. As expected, this format translates into drastic increases in profit, as well as an increase in potential sales. If a person knows that the beer line moves quickly, they're more likely to jump in line to grab another beer, knowing they won't miss out on the show they paid to see. The footage we've been using for this video was shot at one of the largest college football games in Washington State. The Zone has seen a huge increase in profit by configuring the keg slaughtering house to suit their facility and customers. Prior to using Bottoms Up, their record for beer service was 23 kegs at a University of Washington football game. After updating their service and applying the keg slaughtering house, their average has more than doubled their previous record, as well as set a new record of 96 kegs. My name's John Atkinson. I'm a controller with Consolidated Restaurants. We've been using the Grinon system for, I think this is our third season. Oh, I'll tell you, the, the efficiency that we can get, a number of beers that we can pour, uh, it just means the volume and the number that we, the sales we can make are just that much better. I'm sure it's easily has doubled our sales. Um, the other thing that's really great about them is it's certainly a more efficient use of the, of the keg, so we get a better return out of the keg. But I would absolutely recommend it. My name is Garen Cohn. I work for Consolidated Restaurants, and we run events at uh, University of Washington at The Zone. And I'm the beer guy. We have four bottoms up units. We've been using them for, I think, three years now. All right, so we have typically five people that are collecting cash and grabbing beers off the system, one um, beer pour, and someone else that helps around. It's, um, well, you know, people talk about it a little bit. 
so they know that the beer is filling from the bottom up, which is kind of cool. You don't see that every day. But the, you know, the main benefit is that you get to produce as much as possible uh, with less people in the grand scheme of things, and you're getting people beers quicker than they've ever had it before. So we've done a couple of promotions with the bottom-up magnets that have worked out real well for our restaurants that we run on the side. If they brought in the magnets to some of our restaurants, uh, we get away you know, six free wings or free appetizer at a couple of different places. They saw pretty good results from them. Um, you know, the biggest problem that we run into is how fast we can take cash, where before it's how fast you can produce, and, uh, and that's a good problem to have. You know, we, we don't track our stuff by section, so by the beer area, by the bar area, but you can tell just um, with the tips, because the guys usually get a percentage of the tips, so you can tell how huge those are now, that you can tell our sales are uh, significantly higher. We would never do an event again and not use the bottoms up systems. As you can see, bottoms up is the best practice in making sure your customers, as well as your profits are happy. Bottoms up can be applied in any configuration and can consult with you on how it is best applied for your beer service. Contact Bottoms Up today for more information on how it can work for you.